Hello everyone, my name is Lordjohn25 and welcome back to Prototech Server. So, thanks to the last video's response, which was absolutely amazing, thank you so much for that great response, I will be continuing this series. And to, for today I have something really amazing to show you. So, right now this storing si storage system is actually sorting out some items, so that is why it's quite laggy. But, I will show you, I have just organized my ender chest, which is which was actually a complete mess a few uh, weeks ago. So over here we have five shulker boxes which will be filled with random stuff and also we have a valuables shulker box then we have one shulker box for building blocks for sand, redstone components, food and rockets quartz ore from, from mining that large nether tunnel and also some tools so that is actually a lot more organized than before and I think that I will save a lot of time because I will not have to spend time looking for these items which are now quite organized. For today I have planned to build a farm in the end so let me just quickly show you in my creative single player world what I have designed. So yeah, you have probably guessed it by the thumbnail of this video but I will be building a cactus farm in this episode. So this is the original design that we have thought of on the Prototech server, which is not that great actually. Let me just quickly tell you why. Well, first of all, it's six blocks high, which is quite high, and you need 24 blocks of volume for one cactus, which is quite high as well. But the good news is that this, it is actually 100% efficient. That basically means that every cactus that will be harvested from this cactus over here will be collected in the storage system at least I will just keep it at 100% because it's much easier to calculate but in reality it could be 99.999 so then I created this design this design is actually way better than this over here because it is only 4 blocks high and it uses only 16 blocks per one cactus and, but the bad news is that it has 80% of efficiency. That is mainly because these gla glass blocks, glass panes, have a large hitbox and sometimes the cactus will just land on top of there and despawn. So that is why I have designed this over here. I have replaced the glass with trap oak uh, fence gates and these can be opened and whenever I do that the items can freely go through. So this design over here is actually stackable and the efficiency is 98.3% which is actually enough. And related to this farm over here it can produce one and a half times more cactuses than this farm. So I will be definitely building this farm on the Prototech server. Now let me just quickly show you how this thing works. Uh, first of all, I will just power on this farm so it doesn't uh, lag the single player world. So as you guys can see, whenever I flip the lever, the pistons reject and pull these fence gates down, which will then be harvesting cactuses. Some of the cactuses will still land on top of these redstone blocks, but that doesn't quite matter as much, because that's really not a lot. So now let's build this stuff on Prototech server. Currently we are in the lobby of the Prototech server. Just listen to this thunder noise in the background. <laughs> eh, it's quite obvious who is doing this. Now I have two shulker box filled with stuff that I'll be using to build this farm. And as you guys can see I am in the end. And this is the portal where this farm will actually stand. So let's right go through it. So over here there is a rabbit farm already and I was thinking about building the farm on the opposite side over here because there is still a lot of space left and this is the last farm for this uh, gate portal
So it's been around few weeks since I've built this thing and as you guys can see, uh, yeah, Enderman were, were actually quite busy tearing down this thing. <laughs> and yeah, so I will have to rebuild some of this stuff, but it seems like someone was AFKing over at this rabbit farm, which caused some Enderman to spawn and yeah, dismantle some of the things. But that doesn't really matter, because I will because I will correct uh, the damage that they have done and then I will start building the upper part which will have the cactus texture on it. So let me just quickly get rid of this enderman and then we will start building the top part. For now we have completed this cactus farm, we maybe need to add some shulker box loader system because over here the rabbit farm also has one and I'm not quite sure if we need one, but let me just quickly show you how I did the entire farm. So over here we have a switch which will turn on and off the farm. So whenever I flip this lever, the pistons will retract, pulling down the slime block extensions which will cause the entire farm to start. Basically we have those fence gates which I've shown you in the, my creative world and they are pulled down by the pistons and as you guys can see few of the cactuses are already going into the system. This farm is not very quick but I think that because cactuses aren't the type of resource we need a lot it should be enough of no for now. And if we ever need more we could just build more modules on top of this one. I have also left a chest of resources here in case I need to run some maintenance on this machine. So these are just basic resources for repairing the machine. The redstone is not very complex, it's just a redstone signal that powers those pistons and pushes them up or down. Now I think it's time to investigate where those cactuses actually go, because I'm not quite sure. So as you guys can see one of the cactuses is already coming so let me just quickly go through the portal and okay it seems like the cactuses will land on this block but where exactly does this thing go? If I'm correct all the items from the end should end up in this location over here in the overworld and because there is no solid block above they will land in this water source over there. So this thing should cycle them around so should cycle items around and then they should be sorted by these chests over here. So I should just check if there is any cactus chest over here and if there's not any I should make one probably. 
I think that I have found a location where the items from the end were going, so yeah, these items look very familiar to me. I think that yeah, these are mine, probably. <laughs> now this system should be fully functional, so if I throw some cactuses over here, they should make their way over here, and yeah, they were removed by this hopper and are now placed inside of these chests. Yeah, so that's it for this project. Let's move to another one. The next thing that I'll be working on this server is actually really special. So if I just press F3, you can see that we are almost at 100,000 days on this server. So I was thinking about building some countdown clock, which will just count down towards 100,000, and when these days reach, it will shoot some fireworks into the sky or something like that. We will see, let me just quickly craft some more resources and we will start building. I have now crafted a bunch of rockets, which all have different colors inside. So if I just take one out, and according to my calculations, we still have around two and a half days uh, till we hit 100,000 days on Prototech server. So that should be plenty of time to build what I was thinking about. So we will have a countdown clock based on daylight sensor, and whenever the day 100,000 is reached, it will shoot a bunch of fireworks just like this into the sky. It should be pretty awesome. And by the location I was thinking about building it inside this ship over here, because it wasn't quite used that, that much, and I think it will quite fit in there quite nicely. I just got a really cool idea, let's make this ship which has a cannon in front of it, shoot rockets on day 100,000, that should be amazing. <laughs> As you guys can see, I have finished this small, simple redstone circuit. So over here we have a daylight sensor, which will detect when the day becomes a night and so on, and each day one item from this dropper will be moved into the hopper, which is over here, and whenever the counter reaches zero, this torch will turn on, this comparator will detect that and start a clock, which will, let me just quickly show you, it will power on these dispensers, which will have tons upon tons of rockets. Now I'm just testing to see if this machine actually works. I have added seven redstone pieces over here, and that means that whenever the day will change, at the same moment, this dispenser or dropper will dispense the last item out, the comparator will detect that, send a signal to these droppers or dispensers and then start shooting those rockets. It will take quite some time actually, I have I have done some testing and it should be around 7 minutes, which is enough for me. So I will just quickly close this thing up and that's it for this project. So thank you so much for watching guys, this has been Lord John 25 and I will see you in the next episode. Oh, those are the wrong rockets.